Hello YouTube, hello Tyrannis X7 owners. If you have this radio, you probably know that it works on batteries. And if you're like me, you probably didn't like it. Batteries are for babies. So, I went on eBay and I searched for quite a while until I found this LiPo, which fits perfectly inside the internal battery bay. There. The dimensions are 4 millimeter thickness times 55 millimeters height and 85 millimeters width. So then I made this battery pack. It's 2S 2P battery. One cell is 2500 milliamps. So this pack is 5000 milliamp hours. It's probably not that big, but even if it's 4000 milliamp hours, it's way more than this. Now, the first thing you're going to notice looking at this battery is that it has a protection circuit. And that immediately raised questions in my mind what's going to happen if you connect these circuits in parallel and then start charging and discharging the battery? Uh, I checked out the data sheet and I couldn't find anything that would, you know, make this battery explode or anything like that. It's actually a cool thing that protects the battery. It has under voltage protection, over voltage protect protection and over current protection. So it's a good thing. The only fishy thing that might happen is when you have these parallel cells unbalanced and you connect these things together then they're going maybe going on some sort of ping pong game when one battery tries to charge other and the other shuts down and stuff like that but if your cells are balanced you should be just fine now let's see how it fits inside the tyrannis Check this out, it's absolutely flush with the top surface and it occupies around 80% of the internal volume of the battery bay. One thing that you have to do is to calibrate your Tyrannis, set the minimum uh, voltage and the maximum voltage and then calibrate it somewhere here. So you'll have to measure the actual voltage of the battery and then put it here. If you want to know how I made this battery pack, keep watching the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks for watching.